So these are the few photos of our foundations. This is uh, my father, and this is another uh, bill from the labyrinth from the Monterno. These photos show the philanthropists, Jack and Susan Sins. Uh, he's a John. This, he's a CEO of this uh, trip book. Uh, very, very young, and he's, uh, he committed uh, to donate one million bucks. And David and Caroline, they are also on our boat. And they have, been, they have been constantly donating and donating to us. Our mission statement for our foundation is to provide global knowledge throughout the country by distributing over a million books. There's a very good chance of getting another million after we complete this first million. To reconstruct over 2,000 libraries damaged by the cycle of Nagis, to equip libraries with not only books, but desks, benches, as well as laptops and shelves, to enhance our community support via the library readers workshop and to host a workshop and follow up training by professional librarians and teachers. The, in the partners, after Trace Book has uh, co contributed their books, other foundations also joining in. Another foundation is Opportunity Foundations and American President Line. The uh, American President Line is sponsored for our shipping charges uh, because books are very heavy and we have to ship in like big container, 40 feet container. So they are sponsoring for our shipping. The University of Washington Library, Corner University Library, Institute of South Asia Studies. In Thailand, Foreign Correspondent Club and National Library of Australia, they are contributing books to us. And uh, in Vienna, there's an association called UN, United Nations Women's Guild. They sponsor for two libraries to reconstruct that. We finished one already, another one is ongoing. Montana Library Association also partner with us to donate the books. And All Vision in Myanmar, they are our, uh, one of our key partner. They are also donating and giving all the contacts. Another Deboa Foundation, Family Foundation, that is also donating to us. Recently, Oxford University Press joining in to donate the books. These are the few photos of our activities of our two foundations. When we receive a container, a container of the 40 feet container, has about 44 gallons boxes like this, and we have to unload them, and we have to sort according to the subject, and after that, we have to send, donate these uh, books to the respective uh, libraries. So, so medical books will go to the medical university, technology books will go to the University of Science and Technologies, libraries, and law, and so and so. Children books will go to the children libraries. So this is a quite a tedious job, but we are able to get help from the library associations and other NGOs are helping us also. We have our very few staff. We are running our foundation with a very uh, minimally, uh, minimal budget also. So we, most of them are working on the volunteer basis. So after donating for about first two containers, we try to donate the, the English language books because we are receiving the English language books to the villages also. So after two containers, the villages, these village community, they ask, what about Myanmar language books? So we are facing some problem because we don't have. So luckily, we, this is the turning point for us also. The CEO of the Tracebook, Hector, he's on our board also, we discussed with him. So he said, no problem, he, we are allowed to sell about 30% of his book. So with his permission, we sold out 30% of the donated books to raise a fund to buy back the Myanmar language books and donate these Myanmar language books to these village libraries. It's, we, we feel that it's like right books to the right people. This is important. And when we sell the books, these 30% of the books, we just do not sell just get, you know, a very high price. We say in the, we want to, actually we want to give away actually, but to raise a fund, we have to do something, you know, charity book fair. So these charity book fairs are actually, in Myanmar, we are running five books too, four in Yango, one in Mandalay. So at the time of the book, we call it book book fair. You know? So the customer, they have to buy the bags only. These are the two types of bags. The smaller bag is only, it costs about $12. The 
The larger bags can cost about $24, and they can put as much as they can. We just sell the bags. So these customers are very happy, and we are doing it only in the urban city, like Yango and Mendeley, at our shops. So sometimes, you know, if you properly uh, sort it and put it in the big, bo big bag, you can put about 50 books. So this is a great value. So then our customers are very happy also. <laughs> we are happy too, because we can raise about uh, every event, uh, we raise about $20,000 equivalent. So Myanmar language books are very cheap, so we can buy a lot of Myanmar language books and we can donate them again. So we are holding like three to four events a year, so we can raise about sixty to eighty thousand dollars a year. Okay, another activity that our foundation is doing is a library reconstruction. This is one of our main mission also, mission statements. So far we received a grant from UN, UNWA, to construct, uh, we have already opened one uh, library in the Delta. Another one is ongoing. Not only the uh, library, we also donate bookshelf, you know, like this bookshelf, which these libraries are actually run by the World Vision and we are donating the shelf and the books also. Another activity is the library training courses. Whenever the library needs a training, we arrange with the Myanmar Library Foundation because of our connection, we can and get the enrollment free of charge. Our foundation sponsor all these charges. And library readers program. There's another program that we are running and which is very successful. Again, we are running with the volunteers from US, UK, and Singapore students. They help to this program. They come to Myanmar, they spend a few days in the monastery school and orphanage and so on. And they, they tell the stories you know, to the kids but for the, uh, a little bit of the teenager's age, this is like uh, they're teaching the soft skills, which are lack, lacking in our schools. Like soft skills like presentation skills, negotiating skills, debate skills. These type of skills things are, is are really necessary in life. So we are very fortunate that uh, these volunteers are helping our foundation also. Okay, another activity that we are doing is a teacher's training workshops. Last year, in 2011, we conducted three training workshops in three cities. Each one lasts for three days by the two experienced teachers. We invited from teachers from Australia and USA, and they came, and this is very, very interesting, and we created very dynamic workshops on effective use of the simple reading books, as well as how to plan lessons and be creative in the classroom. So actually the, our teachers are a bit oh, shy, you know, when they started this section. The first day, they don't speak much, they are very shy, very silent. But after that, you know, they are, and because these trainers, they, they train, you know, they train to the teachers that they have to speak out, otherwise they cannot continue. You know. So they play games, you know, they create their games. So then last second and third day, you will see the teachers are, enjoying, you know, playing like, you know, kids, you know. <laughs> so now these teaching methodologies are, are adopting in these schools. And I'm, explain, I'm going to explain a little bit more about these teaching methodology in the next slides. <clears throat> we, we ask the teachers to think outside of the box. I mean, critical thinking skills to teach. From, even from one small book, they will ask the teacher to think, to elaborate, you know, to, to elaborate on the various, various kind of uh, knowledge. Say, for example, a small book called About Zoo. They will ask the teacher to think, what are the animals, what are the amphibians, what are the mammals, so and so. So they're expanding their, uh, the, the knowledge, not by just knowing them. Uh, they don't, they don't train the, the teachers to know by, by heart, you know, no, no, no road learning is uh, possible in these sections. They create the various kinds of games also. They, teach, they also teach to ask open questions rather than closed questions. So the teacher has to answer, the answer can be anything, yes or no. And types of books that require for the primary teachers are more, with the more photo with the less text. So actually the main message they want to give to the teachers is, the, the kids must enjoy in the class. Okay, 
fifth topic on the, the types of book that they are, we are currently donating is uh, children books from preschool to the teen books, activity books, fictions and non-fictions, self-development books, higher academic books, the law, science, quite a diversified uh, subject area and reference book also. And for Myanmar language books, there are many, many subjects. You know, we, we purchased and we donated and mainly to the, for the village libraries. So far, we have imported 600,000 out of the 1 million books. Our motto is, the right, as, as, mentioned, as I mentioned earlier, write books to the right people. This pie chart shows the, the subject of the donated books. The majority of the, the number, majority of the books are the, on the children books and followed by the, uh, the, uh, the books on the livelihood, like farming and you know, like growing animals and so on and so on for the villages. And seven double books are also very in high demand. We are doing a lot of their books also. Okay. I, I mentioned about our donors' partners. These partners, now this slide shows the partners in local. They are not the donors, but they are our partners in to, to, to make our foundation activities successful. We work together with INGU and NGO. INGU is a wall vision. We work together with wall vision because they already have a lot of classrooms and libraries all over the country, but they need the books. So we select and donate our books through the wall vision connections. Also local NGO are also our partners who are very active and very, they are also very active. They are very influential in this area like ICUs, ActiveU, there are about mobile libraries. I feel that they are, we are, are effective with, by, by partnering with these local NGOs because they know, they know better than us. Plus, Myanmar Library Foundation, and also we also uh, partner with uh, international school because most of the international school, they have this uh, community service. So we donate our books and they bring our books and they use at the, uh, the community school, orphanage and monastery schools. Also, we work with the influential monks, such as Sidigu Siaro and Siaro Damatia, Tamapia. Because they help to identify which libraries need books. They all, we also share the information. We distribute our books. As I said earlier, our foundation is running with a very minimal budget, so we cannot work alone. We have to partner with many uh, NGO and INGO in Myanmar. So, so our key partner is our U.S. based foundations, actually, uh, Nagas Library Recovery. Okay, this slide shows what are the criteria to become a recipient of our books. First, they must have a very strong library board. This is very important. We found many libraries have failed because lack of the proper strong library board. If the library board is strong, there's a success, definitely, definitely. So they must be transparent, they must be flexible and responsible. They must, for example, they must be able to use the open shelf rather than closed shelf. Sometimes I, our librarians think that these books are very highly valuable, so they want to lock it down. You know? We don't want to happen that way. We want our kids to touch the books, feel the books, and read them, use them. Even, even they don't understand it. Even like six months old, nine, nine months old, they, they should be able to touch it then they will get interested in the books and later on they will read the books. So that's the message we would like to give. And we have to educate to the villagers as well as to the librarian also. When we run the foundation, we found two types of librarians. First type, they are very good readers, but not good and assistant to the readers. Second type, they are very good reader plus good and assistant to the readers. So we always try to persuade the first type to become the second type which is very important. In terms, like it's a customer service also, you know. Fourth is uh, they should have a supporting level from the influential person in that area. So if they meet these four criteria, we are able to donate our books. Currently, we are donating over 750 libraries. Actually, we started with the uh, libraries in the Delta area because they are the maybe hit by the cyclone Nagis, but uh, our current activity covers the whole country. I, at the moment, I think we are the highest uh, single donor of books in Myanmar. We donate to both state-run as well as private library, monastery school libraries, and village libraries. Even in most, some of the Muslim libraries, we also donate. 
So these are the, this is the map of Myanmar that our donation effort covers. You might see that they are direct and redistribution center. Direct means we directly donate the books to these libraries. Redistribution centers means they redistribute to other, other smaller libraries in that area. So in Delta, of course, there's the highest number in younger areas also. Also in the Kachin State and then on the southern part of the Davoy, near Davoy also, we are donating. And that number is growing every year, actually. Okay, we are running this foundation. Also, we are facing many challenges. First challenge is our shipping charges. Shipping cost from US to Myanmar is about $6,000 a container for 40 feet container, which can hold about 50,000 books. Actually, the cost of a book is only about 12 cents, but for that $6,000 per container is very high. And so far, we are lucky that shipping lines and our border director, we all share the cost. Another problem, storage. At the moment, we have to buy like two empty containers and use as a warehouse. Another challenge is uh, choosing for the right library. As I said earlier, librarians sometimes think that books are very expensive and they need to keep and not to afford to lose. You know. So we need to educate them a lot. Another challenge that we are facing is forming a legal NGO is another challenge in Myanmar. But luckily, so far, we have endorsement from Ministry of Information, Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Social Welfare, and we can run the foundation smoothly. This is uh, due to the military government time. I think uh, 